Hello, Senior Stoner fan. Just a real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro dab of the day. Today is Monday. Hello, everybody. I've been really on a series about how to help us get through difficult situations. But what about how to achieve a difficult goal? That elusive goal you wanted to achieve the elusive thing you just can't get your hands on. Well, are you trying to start something new? Are you trying to push yourself to a new limit? Do you feel like you're not able to progress enough? Don't worry. It's natural. You're like most people. Most people answer yes to those questions because they have difficult times. The brain sometimes perceives something as challenging or difficult. And you know what the brain does? Automatically tries to keep us away from it. Now, I know that's counterintuitive to solving it, but that's what the brain does. The brain naturally runs from those things. So what is the best way to achieve the elusive difficult goal. There might be a few tricks. Let's get started. Well, I've always believed this since I was in college, because one of my psychology professors talked about it. First thing in the morning. That's right. I don't care how you feel getting out of bed. It's the best you're going to have. Studies have actually shown that if you target that goal, first thing in the morning, even as you're waking up, you're able to utilize an extra charge, a charge, like an electrical charge, to start helping you work through the problem. And you know what? If you do that, if you're starting to work on something that you feel is difficult early in the day, it's less likely to take up your whole day. That makes some sense, doesn't it? So if, based on your schedule, you can reserve some time in the morning for doing that, boy, that might really help us. And the thing that I like most, and I've talked about it before, but this is a little different, is visualize yourself actually achieving your goal. Whatever the target is, bullseye on that target. Visualize it. Don't just say it. Visualize it. And... Simply said, you know what? If the goal you're trying to achieve is a challenging one, you will feel awesome when you achieve it. So if you achieve it even in your brain, you're going to start to move forward towards achieving it. So think about it. Get up, do your stuff in the morning. But what if you gave two, three, four, five minutes, just a little bit of time every morning to visualize yourself having achieved your goal. You sat downstairs in a chair. You sat in this chair, whatever chair, you, whatever place you want to be, and you visualize yourself achieving the goal. It's going to help you achieve the goal. And it's going to be deep. And there's going to be emotion attached to it. And you know what? You're going to be more capable for doing other things. It's going to be better for you and people better for you and colleagues. You see, what happens in this is that all your senses are exercised when you visualize something. Not just seeing it, you visualize it. Sometimes people say they can taste it. But just think about doing that and try to do it in a seated position, not standing. Try not to stand around and visualize. Try to sit. Supposedly it helps. And then, this is great because I'm a parent and I'm a pet owner. Promise yourself a reward. What do you think of that? It's a trick, isn't it? No, it's not a trick, but it makes your brain work towards whatever that difficult goal is, the elusive, challenging goal you have. Why do you think this is to your advantage? Well, because, let's talk about it. Your dog will do anything for a cookie, all right? A hungry person will do anything for food. People will do anything for positive reinforcement. 
So to be honest, what you're doing is you're treating yourself, you're treating yourself only when you complete the target. You're going to give reinforcement. You're going to promise the reward, but you're not going to get it until you move close to your target. If you show movement, you get a reward. If there's no movement, there's no reward. For example, tomorrow morning, if I get up and the first thing I do is spend two or three minutes thinking about my goal, you know what? I've achieved something. I deserve a reward for that because doing that is a step in the right direction. It's really amazing how important the first step is in anything. The first step is your decision to decide to do it. Tao wrote, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So nothing moves until you start to move yourself. All the knowledge is of absolutely no use to you. All the videos you watch are meaningless until you sit down and try to apply the knowledge or information or advice. Listen, everybody. Take a deep breath. Start on your number one priority now. Plan it and do it daily because you will find you will have incremental success as you build the days along. And you know what? There's a bonus too. There's a bonus. Your brain, your brain, when you accomplish things, when you feel good, releases oxytocin oxytocin and serotonin hormones because you're feeling fulfilled you're feeling like you've done something i don't care if for me the biggest thing to do today was to do this video and some days that's the biggest thing for me because i'm jammed up but if i get through it if i'm able to do it i go and i sit down i go wow look what i did feeling the way i feel look what i did and you know what? There's nothing like that. There's nothing like saying to yourself, hey, senior stoner, wow, I might not have achieved the whole goal, but look at the movement I made. Look at the direction I'm taking. It's the right direction. Positive. And you know what? It's critical. It's just 100%, 200% critical that we begin to think like this. Life is not going to get easier as we age. So we have to start implementing things. Think about this, everybody. Implement these things at a young age so you will have them as resources as you get older to draw upon. I feel really, not stupid, but I feel... Can you imagine I let it go 60 some odd years until I figured out that I should start thinking this positive way? The more you can put up on the wall, more positive things you put up on the wall, the more positive things are going to stick there. Remember that. It's a game of numbers. You're not going to be able to take every single positive thought you have and make it work for you. But if you try, if you try enough, Guess what? That'll stick. That'll stick. That'll stick. That'll stick. That'll stick. And soon you're looking at it and you're being brought along by, by strength. You're being brought along by strength, not fear. You're being brought along by your achievements, not by your failures or by your inability to do something. Difficult goals are just that. But you know what they're not? They're not impossible. Cheers. If you enjoyed this video, <coughs> excuse me, please subscribe. Send me your comments. I love to reply. <coughs> I reply to every single one of them. This has been the Real Senior Stoner. And remember, nothing is impossible. Cheers.